from a Charlie Parker blues in C. It's over the four chord of the F7, and it does this. Octave lower, different fingering. What am I doing here? It's like, well, hold on, it's like a B mixolydian, isn't it? But instead of it going, it goes, it's got a sharp nine. So it's a mixolydian sharp nine. It's really cool. Now, if this is over an F7, what's Parker doing? Well, I'll tell you. It's a tritone away, and he's using this B dominant idea. Now, if you relate it back to an F root, the original chord, it's going B sharp 11, A major third, G sharp, sharp nine of that original F or A flat, right? Then F sharp or G flat, flat nine, right? Then the E is a major seven, so a chromatic passing note into E flat, flat seven, right? And then we get D, which is the 13th of F, right? And then B sharp 11 lands on again, right? Over that F. But I think we can look on it as a B mixolydian sharp nine. What a cool idea, man. Over that F7 chord, right? You get this out. All right, now we start adding a passing note in there, perhaps. What a cool sound that is, right? Now I'm adding chromatic passing note going up through into the root of my B mixolydian idea, right? So I'm adding a passing note going up from the A, the flat seven, up into the root. This is really neat. So this is just like from one bar of this Parker Blues. So not only is it great reading study, because the line itself does this, but like that, right? But we've also got this really cool line in itself. We just go, okay, let me look at that one bar, and it's, I'm holding that's on an F7. Wow, he starts on the sharp 11. There's a flat nine in there, right? It's chromatic. And then that, uh, da, that's so hip, that D to B over the F7, because it's a 13 to sharp 11, relating it to an F root, right? Uh, uh, da, 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 da. You see? So when we think about this line being created in the 1950s, so what are we looking at 60, 70 years ago? It's unbelievable how advanced Parker was. I mean, his vocabulary was just, I mean, decades ahead of his time. And you can literally take a bar and go, okay, I can either just wholesale take this, put it in my plane, or I can modify it, like I showed you there, add a chromatic pass, you know, and suddenly it's like, wow, this is like really super modern sounding, you know? And you can look at it two ways. You can look at it in relation to the original root, the F7, or you can go, hmm, this whole thing looks kind of like a B mixolydian, which is a tritone or flat five away from the original F chord. And I'm pretty sure that Parker would have been thinking probably in parallel, like be able to think both those ways, all right? So very good resource, some of the Parker Bop stuff worth checking out.